Here we go and I'm ready for the first full power test. If it fails this test then everything I've done goes into the bin. Here I have everything set up in the yard in a haphazard way and now for a quick tour. Starting from the left is the 48 volt lithium ion battery power source. Then the power supply I'm using is a temporary throttle signal and below that is a tachometer. And then the motor speed control with a voltmeter on top set to monitor the current. And then of course there is the shredder. Over here is a bucket of leaves and a few small branches for my first test to see if this contraption is actually viable. Up until I turned the power on I really had no idea if this was going to work. Panning over to the far side of the yard we can see piles of debris waiting to be shredded. Most of this are leftovers from pruning grapevines last year when the motor shaft broke off my shredder. Assuming this test works then I will have to take the whole thing apart to finish it up adding a control panel and a battery housing which will also function as the front leg. Time to get testing. The first part of this test is to ensure maximum RPM does not exceed 4000. I will have to slowly power it up while monitoring the RPM on the tachometer. Making sure everything is turned on and then I ramp up the power. It starts up right about 6.5 volts on the throttle. Now for a quick check to make sure the tachometer is working. I turn it up to about 8.3 volts and checking I have 2000 RPM. Then I crank it up to 9.4 volts and it's about 3000 RPM and looking good. It will be at full power when it exceeds 10.8 volts. At 10.4 volts, I have 3700 RPM. Cranking the throttle to max, and it tops out at 3900 RPM, which is perfect. The belt tension bolt came loose and I had to readjust the belt. Much of the hardware is not properly tightened since I knew it was all coming apart again. Now I need to run it back up again to see how many amps are flowing through the system. It is running at about 60 amps which was higher than expected but within the parameters of the battery. I am estimating run time about 30 minutes. And now that I know it is running properly the next question is, will it shred anything? The leaves disappear in a cloud of dust and now for some small branches.
it just sucks down the small branches and, whoops, the power on wire fell off and it shut down. When watching the video, I noticed it was one of the twigs that pulled the wire off. Power it back up and watch as the twigs disappear. Then I ran over to get some more. Shut it off and now let's see what we got. A full bucket of leaves and a handful of twigs turned into about one quarter full of a bucket, perfect for mulching. Now I have to tear it all down, get it painted, and the other parts manufactured.